Okay, so let's move to our next session, the student voice session. So you must all be curious to know how the real international student, what they think and what they feel about study away from their hometown in Japan, in Sofia. So we're very lucky to invite two international students, their current fourth year students, uh, fourth year students. So Ms. Melissa Da Costa, uh, she is a fourth year student from our green science program. And also Giovanni, um, she's a green engineering student. Uh, she's also a first year student. So let's welcome our students. Hello, everyone. My name is Melissa, and this is my friend Giovanni. And today we're going to talk about our experiences being students at Sofia University. As for today's content, we're going to have a brief self-introduction about both of us and also a little bit of uh, experience in Sofia University as well as in Japan. Okay, a little bit about us. So actually, both Giovanni and I, we, we were born and raised in Timor-Leste. It's a newly born and independent, newly born or independent country located in Southeast Asia, in between Australia and Indonesia. Uh, in Portuguese, it's called Timor Leste. It is all. It's one of the Portuguese-speaking country, or also known as East Timor in English. And currently, we're senior students in the Faculty of Science and Technology. So a little bit more about me. I major in materials and life sciences, as mentioned earlier. I'm in my senior year and currently I'm doing my graduate research in the biophysics laboratory with Professor Kondo Zero as my supervisor. My area of interest is in therapeutics. So my research is basically about nucleic acids containing G quadruple structure um, analysis with and without drugs. I use antiviral drugs here. And during my free time, I love reading books. I love novels. I also love listening to music, podcasts, I love watching um, movies, TV shows, YouTube, and also having quality time with my friends that include uh, cooking together in the dormitory or chilling in the dorm, chilling in the park or work out together or hang around in Tokyo. That's about me. And how about you, Giovanna? Thank you, Melissa. I'm Giovanni, but usually my friends call me Vanya. And I came to Japan 20, in 2019 right after I graduated from high school, so almost four years ago. And currently I'm a fourth year student, just like Melissa. And, um, but we, even though we're in the same faculty, but I'm, we're in different department. And I'm in the Department of Green Engineering and Applied Sciences. And um, at Sophia University, especially FST, we must choose our laboratory when we reach the fourth year and decide on our research topic for graduation. And now I'm in Professor Miyatake's laboratory in the electrical and electronic division. And since I'm interested in automobile industry, especially electric cars, um, my research is related to dynamic load optimization control of peak shaving in electric vehicle smart charging system. And well, that is all about my brief introduction. Now you might be wondering about our life at Sofia University. So Melissa, can you tell us about your experience at Sofia University? Okay, so now let's take, talk more about the most important topic today. Uh, what is like being student or studying here in Sofia University? So Sofia University has a very international environment. It's very rich in diversity. Studying at Sofia University gives you this amazing uh, privilege to meet and make friends with people coming from all around the world with different culture. And because of that, studying at Sofia University, you got the experience not only Japanese culture, but also all of this amazing culture coming uh, from all around the world. It is very international university or global university, I'll say. The university is very big on SDGs or Sustainable Development Goals by United Nations. So students who are studying at Sofia University were very engaging, not only in, in terms of academics, but also in social issues as well. And Sofia University has a very amazing student support. There are a lot of resources available on campus and different offices available to assist students whenever they need for 
examples like jobs, uh, academic problems, or social problems, and many more. Um, we have very beautiful campus here. Um, this is uh, Yotsuya campus. Actually, Sofia University has uh, several campuses available, but Yos uh, Yotsuya campus is the one where we both go to. Uh, it's located at the center of Tokyo. And as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of facilities available on campus, but what I love most about the campus is the convenience to get food. We have a lot of cafeterias available serving delicious and diverse meals. There are a lot of different food trucks available on campus as well, where you can get a lot of different meals, Japanese meal, halal meal, Asian meal, Southeast Asians, Western meals, African, and many more. We have very beautiful cherry blossom tree located close to the campus, very next to the, next to the campus, where you can enjoy the beautiful cherry blossom seasons every year around mid March, I think, until the beginning of April or the end of April. And you can also do a picnic there with your friends. Okay, now let's talk about uh, the activities uh, on campus. So despite being diverse and multicultural, the students here are also very active and involved in different activities. For example, outside of my academic life, I involve myself in various clubs and circle activities that help me to connect with other people and learn new things, which is crucial for me to explore myself and also my interest even, even deeper. Activities on campus are very diverse, ranging from sports and arts to environmental related activities. For instance, we have different clubs and circles like soccer, badminton, kayaking, fencing, Japanese martial arts, uh, orchestra, piano, environmental related circle, where people do environmental workshops and collaborated with NGOs about sustainability, etc. And for example, I myself join different circles like campus ministry, where we usually have a monthly gathering and sharing among international and Japanese students. Southeast Asia Sophia Society, where we organize fundraising to support goods for an internally displaced person in a state in one of the state in Myanmar. This is this is raising awareness and taking actions towards whatever happens in our society. So we're not only studying, but we also act towards social issues that surrounds us. Uh, other than that, I also joined Casa Sustainability is one of the environmental related circle where we organize the environmental workshops to, uh, or, to raise awareness among Sofia, Sofia students or co-organize with other organizations interested in advo advocating sustainability issues. We also have different exchange programs, short or long term, that are available for all Sofia students. These activities help me to be aware of my surroundings, but also help me to develop my time management skills, public speaking, leadership skills, meeting new people, exchanging ideas and cultures, etc. So we see there are so many opportunities out there to explore, to learn new skills and meet new people. By exploring, you can find your passion or even what you dislike. Either or, they are essential tools for you because they can help you to decide what you want to do after graduating high school or deciding which major you want to take when you enter university. So when you have time, please volunteer and join different activities. All of these will not just come to you without you taking some actions without exploring it. So yeah, and the second activity, uh, the second point that I would like to mention is about Sophia Uni um, University um, uh, dormitory um, and Sophia University has several student dormitories and the one that Melissa and I currently living in is Sophia Soshigai International House. Um, it's an hour away from Yotsuya campus. For your information, all the universities in Japan um, have their dormitory outside the campus, including Sophia. And I want to share a little bit of my experience of what it is like to live in a dormitory. So as I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation, I came to Japan right after I graduate. So of course it was a very tough decision for me because I have to leave my family, friends, and learn new language and culture, make new friends, etc. So sometimes I do feel homesick too. However, leaving in the dormitory is very helpful because it feels like I have a family, although I am away from home. And moreover in the dorm, I'm making new friends and learning new culture and things every day, whether 
it's just like a new vocabulary, Japanese vocabulary or movies or cooking recipes, etc. Although we live far from the campus, I enjoy staying there because we have a very lovely and convenient neighborhood with different facilities like library, gym, cafeteria, tennis court, training room, etc. Since it is an international dormitory, there are so many people worldwide. The capacity of the dorm itself is around 300 people from 56 different countries. Since it is very multicultural, every semester we have various activities organized by the school or living group leader, like residence assistants, to help the students adjust their life in Sofia and also in Japan. So I think that's like a little bit of my explanation about the dormitory life. So maybe um, Melissa, you'd like to continue? I think you said it perfectly. I don't have to add anything more, but let's move on to the next slide. Uh, now let's talk a little bit more about the Faculty of Science and Technology, since we both belong to this faculty. So um, as my professors already mentioned earlier, so the, what is the, all this faculty is about is that it provides an integrated study of science and technology or engineering taught by experts coming from different fields in the faculty. Um, because it provides integrated study in the faculty, you have the, uh, the flexibility to take different courses within biology, chemistry, physics, and math, and ultimately develop in a multidisciplinary perspective. And not only that, because Sofia University is a very global university, the learning process here is very integrated into both global and sustainable perspective as well. So by experiences, all of this learning environment, students can later develop skills or ability to develop a research that can tackle global issues as well. Um, in addition to such curriculum system, the classes are conducted in small size, which facilitates the students uh, to engage in more interactive and flexible learning experiences, where students can have the opportunity to engage in valuable and more extensive discussions with the professor and their friends inside the class and outside the class as well. And furthermore, uh, uh, in the Faculty of Science and Technology in your junior year, uh, you can uh, have the experience uh, for a research trial. Uh, this uh, is pretty new program. Uh, I think it pretty started last year. This opportunity allows the student in their junior year or third year to conduct research and be acquainted with a real research environment and other research conducted in different laboratories at the university. Thus, the students can have a make easier decision for their gradu graduation research later in their senior year. And in fact, through the, I took this research trial -like program uh, last year. And through this program, I found my interest in conducting research in the biomedical field, especially in therapeutics. Okay, now let's move to um, the last part. This is last but not least. Uh, we are going to share about a little bit about our experience living in Japan. But since we have limited time, uh, months of time left, I don't think we will be able to share everything. So we're just gonna, going to talk about things that we love most about Japan. So as for me, what I love most um, of Japan is the convenience and the safety here in Japan. I love the convenience stores. Uh, they're open 24 hours here and you can literally get anything, buy anything from there. And as you may know, Japan is one of the safest country in the world and Tokyo is the largest city in the world. Um, what I love is that uh, living here, uh, how safe is it, it is to live here. And it is so safe that you can uh, walk alone uh, or to walk at night in the street, enjoying the city life without even uh, having the fear for robbery or pickpocketing or something like that. Um, that's from my experience. Uh, what about you, Giovanni? Mm. What do you like most about Japan? I think you said most of it, but other than what you've said, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is the food, because um, I really like seafood. So I think yeah, I love the food in here because they're very fresh as well. And other than the food, I also love Japanese culture because um, uh, about Japanese culture, Japan is like a fascinating and multifaceted culture. But what amazed me was that um, the people here like are very punctual, organized, and also like uh, the city is very clean. Obviously, it's not like 100% like totally, but still compared to like other countries. Um, yeah, it's pretty clean. So yeah. Thank you so much. 
Um, I think that's, uh, we have reached the end of our presentation. Uh, we'll just leave our contact details here. If you um, have any further question later on, please feel free to reach us out. So um, lastly, thank you so much everyone for listening. And this is the end of our presentation. And we hope that we share, uh, what we share here can be very helpful for you. And if you have some questions, please don't hesitate to ask us via text. Or if we don't have enough time, uh, please reach out to us through our email that we already put in the previous slide. So once again, thank you so much.